Phoebe project is a three-year research and innovation project that's been funded by the European Commission's Horizon 2020 programme. Specifically, the project's aim is to develop new types of white organic light emitting diodes used in OLED lighting systems. In order to do this, we will need to develop new types of organic molecular materials, which exhibits a recently discovered physical phenomenon called thermally activated delayed fluorescence, or TADF for short. Thanks to the funding from the European Commission, we've been able to assemble a team of universities and companies that span the full spectrum from the research through to the development, through to the production of these white OLED lighting systems. So starting with the basic research, we have the Technical University of Dresden, who are responsible for the modelling and theory behind uh, organic semiconductors. This is followed by Kaunas University of Technology in Lithuania, who are specialists in the chemical synthesis of such materials. We then follow with Durham University in UK, who are world leaders in the characterization of these materials. Within the FIBI project, our part is the theoretical modeling of new molecules, of new blue emitters. And this information is really important because you have to imagine that there are millions of possibilities how to um, design a, a molecular structure. And as soon as we have a, a good molecule, we uh, suggest this to the chemists. They synthesize these molecules and then we can do our, our measurements, uh, spectroscopy and get a feedback also from the device producers about the molecule and this we can feed back into the theoretical model and then improve our, our molecule and the performance of the molecule. And in the end we hope to find a very stable and, and efficient long-living blue emitter that is one day in your mobile phone or in your lighting device. Our group is uh, glad to join and uh, contribute the FIBE project uh, by our expertise. The main aim of the group uh, during the project uh, is design and synthesis of new efficient uh, blue emitting organic materials. Durham's role in Project FIBE is to do most of the optical and photophysical measurements of all the new materials that are developed through the project. And what that means is that we're trying to understand how those materials actually work and generate light inside the OLED. And from understanding that basic physics, we can then hopefully help the chemists to develop better materials, which are more efficient, and produce light in a more efficient way, live longer so that the device lives longer. And then once we have those new generations of materials, we can pass them on to the companies who will then put those materials into their test devices and then we'll see just how good this new TADF type of emission is in an OLED and how it compares to the current state of the art. Hopefully, if we get our job right, then we'll be better than the state of the art and there'll be a new kind of OLED, more efficient, longer lasting, more efficient for electricity in your phone so that your phone can be recharged once a week instead of once a night. Novalet is a world-leading expert in organic transport and doping materials for organic light-emitting diodes. And with these charge transport and doping materials, we are able to enhance and optimize the performance of um, display and lighting technology. And Novalet is, the only, is worldwide the only company which has doping technology in mass production. And we are the first uh, company to bring uh, on the market the beautiful OLED lighting products. And uh, OLED is uh, the new technology for lighting. And we are making uh, first efforts to bring it to the market and we are doing for uh, 
shopping malls, uh, cinemas, hotels, etc. Designer lamps. And uh, with this Phoebe project, we are working on, on making the technology even better so that they can, everybody can afford it. And uh, so hopefully, we'll see plenty of OLEDs everywhere in the world. If we succeed with the Phoebe project, then we will have helped to produce white organic light emitting diodes, which are no longer requiring the need for the rare earth metal iridium, more performant, have longer lifetimes, and are less costly than the ones that exist on the market today.